I think it's great news for the market. Bad news right now is good news. So I think bring it on. The more companies that can pre-report and say that there are too many inventories and that prices are coming down, the more the Fed can ease off this ridiculous rate hiking you know, path that they've been on. It, it's too much right now. We have 177 additional basis points fully priced in by the rates market before the end of this year, Scott. That's crazy. It's five months. So I think bring it on. We need more companies to say that prices are going down so the Fed can get with the economic data and not be behind the curve again. Rate volatility has, has largely subsided. I, I think you would agree with that. The, the question is, is it going to kick back into high gear this week? Yeah, this week is super exciting, Scott, because we have so much economic data on the table. And I think the rate volatility will likely pick up again. Just remember, the Fed has been doing QE really you know, nonstop since the financial crisis. We've just started quantitative tightening. June 15th was the first Treasury maturity. I think since QE has been vol reducing in fixed income, QT should likely be vol increasing. So I think it's a good opportunity because the market is so complacent to back up the truck own some fixed income volatility right now. It's a nice diversifier. Yeah. What if inflation has peaked? Um, what if some of the more dire calls, like, look, frankly, the, the kind of thing you're suggesting here, that the Fed is so far behind the curve, that inflation is so much more of an issue than the Fed is willing to admit and has the fortitude to truly do something about, what if, in fact, it's getting better? I think it is getting better. I mean, the year-over-year -year changes are what matters. And I think CPI is just one index, just one measure of inflation. And I think there are things that are getting better. I know when I was on uh, your, your show on the halftime report with you, I think that was June 16th. Um, that was actually the low. Remember, we were talking about how it was a good time to not be so bearish, not be so, um, you know, I think bad economic data would actually be really positive for markets right now, especially yeah. for interest rate markets. So let, let me, and I got to run in a moment because, and I apologize, and I do because of this breaking news we do have on, on Walmart. But when you were with me on June 16th, right at the low, um, you said equities were attractive. Now they've had this nice bounce. So what now for stocks? Well, I think now is a time to actually be owning inflation protection because expectations are for a deflationary, a disinflationary environment. And that's fully priced in by the rates market. So I think owning inflation protection outside of commodities. I would use the interest rate markets, the bond markets. Those markets didn't even exist in the 70s because think about it, just even TIPS, the Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, they weren't even created until 1997 by the U.S. Treasury. So I think a way of diversifying away from commodities since they're near all-time highs and adding more rate sensitivity assets for inflation is a good is my next market call scott <laughs> all right and we'll follow up on it uh, nancy i appreciate uh your understanding of, of what we have going on here in overtime today with this breaking news on walmart we'll talk to you again soon that's nancy davis for uh from quadrat